in this month of December and this year. We give thanks to the name of the Lord, may his name be praised in Jesus' name. It is another hour of grace for today. It's my prayer that the grace of God will locate you in the mighty name of Jesus. My name is Damilare Olabisi Bitoye, the pastor of Global Light Baptist Church, Olorodaba, Ibadan. Let's pray together. Our Lord and our God, we thank you, Lord, for keeping and guiding us since the beginning of this year up to this moment. Lord, I set our thanks in Jesus' name. We commit ourselves into your hand that the remaining days of this year, you will help us, and your grace will be abound in our lives. As we are about to share your word, we pray that you grant us the understanding of your word. Give us wisdom to be able to present, to be able to pass this message. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. Our topic for today is the worldly gift for your king. The worldly gift for your king. And our text is taken from Matthew chapter 2, verse 9 to 12. Matthew chapter 2, verses 9 to 12. When they heard the king, they departed, and behold, the star which they had seen in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. Verse 11. And when they had come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented gifts to him, gold, frankincense, and man. Verse 12. Then, being divinely warned in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed from their, from their own country another way. May God bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. Our golden text is verse 11 and it reads, And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold, frankincense, and men. I welcome you into the season, the season that we are commemorating the birth of Jesus Christ, a season of expression and sharing of love, sharing of things. If you examine the topic that we have today, it said the worthy gift for your king. It means that there are some unworthy gifts that we give out to our king. So my question is that, which gift have you prepared to give to your king in a season like this? When we look at the men that went to go and give gifts to our Lord Jesus Christ, the Bible says as they enter and saw the young child, Jesus. The Bible says that number they, they did three things. Number one, they fell down and worshipped. If you look at verse 11, the Bible says that as they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, the Bible says they fell down and worshipped him. The first thing that I want you to note from the life of this man is that, number one, they first of all give their hearts to God. They give their time. They give their, their energy. They give their everything that they are. They give it to God. And that give them, make it easy for them to be able to give their material things to the Lord Jesus Christ. The first thing that you must do as a person is to give your life to Jesus. Is to give everything to Jesus. Everything that has to do with you to give to him. And when that is done, whatever you have, either money or material thing, will not be too much for you to give to God. So as they saw the child, the young child with Mary, the Bible says they fell down.
So the second thing that they give to the king, to the Lord Jesus Christ, is that they are worship. They worship the king. They recognize the kingship in him and they worship. So we are in the season of eating and drinking. But that is not all about eating and drinking. Christmas is not all about drinking, moving here and there, going to uh, Mr. Big's food court and be eating and be merry. Spend this season to worship the reason for this season. Who is the reason for this season? Jesus Christ is the reason for a season like this. Give your worship to him. Honor him. Go to your church and render praises to him. Why? Because a child is born and is going to be the savior of the world. He is the savior of the world. He has been this, our savior and is continuing to be the savior of the world. And that is one of the reasons why you should be motivated to render your worship to God. The Bible says they fell down. They didn't look at it as a, it's a young child. As at that time, when Jesus Christ was, he has not been talking, he did not even know that uh, some people came to do what? To worship him or to give him a gift. Because he's a young child. He didn't know. But they recognize the kingship, the kingship in him. And they worship him. Number two things, which is going to be a worthy gift to your king, is that open your treasures. Open your treasures. What God has given you, there is nothing that you have that is not given to you by God. Some people, they only want to take they don't want to give. To give offering, even to give their tithe, is very difficult for them. They said that God is not, the New Testament uh, did not teach us about, about tithe. And so they will come, they will spend all their money, all that God has given to them, they will not give to God. That is not the right way. This today, God is teaching us that we should open our treasuries. The Bible says in that verse 11 that they opened their treasury, often worship God, often fell down to worship God. And when they had opened their treasuries, they opened it. And what happened? They presented gift to them. That's the third thing. Present, they present gifts to our king. What are you preparing to give? Are you preparing to give your worship to God? Are you preparing to give even to the people around you to show your love, the love of Christ to people, to give to them the money God has provided for you, the food that is plenty in your house, God gave them to you so that others also can be a blessing. So I want to challenge you in this season of celebration, that you spend this season to impart lives, to meet needs, meet the needs of people. Is there anyone hungry in your neighborhood? Meet the needs. Show the love of Christ to them. This is a season to show the love of Christ. And you know what? Jesus Christ taught his disciples that if you have done it, to these people, he said, you have done it to me. If you have given to people that you are seeing around you, what have you done? You have given it to the Lord. You have blessed the Lord. And as you are doing this, the Lord is going to bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And you know what? When they did all this, the Lord rewarded them. The Bible says that having done that, he said they were divinely won and directed on a more secure path. God will never forget your sacrifice. Someone that sees a church in need, church that is building 
and you are able to buy maybe 20 blocks, 30 blocks, do you think God will forget that labor? Do you think God will forget your sacrifice? Look at that child that is about to drop out of school. God wants you to meet that needs. And when you meet that needs, God is saying you have done it to me. You have presented the worthy gift to me. So as I'm talking to you now, God is ministering to you. He's placing someone in your mind. He wants to use you for someone. Cooperate with God. That may be an open door of blessing to you. Bible says, He that watereth shall be watered. If you water people, if you give, if you open your treasury and you be a blessing to people, the ritual principle says that you are also going to be watered. You are also going to be blessed. And God is going to bless your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As we are moving towards the end of this year, I pray that the Almighty God will surprise you, will bless your life, will keep you. That new year that we are looking forward to, we will enter into that new year rejoicing, celebrating, full of joy, full of testimony in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Shall we pray together? Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for the opportunity of sharing the word of God with these people of yours. I pray, O oh God, that as they have heard your word, give them the enabling grace to be doers of your word in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray, O oh God, for myself and for all these listeners, that all these words, all these instructions that we have shared together will not stand against us on the day of judgment in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And the new year that we are looking forward to, we receive grace to enter into that new year on hand, with blessing, with joy, with peace, in the name of Jesus Christ. Even with bountiful harvest, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, everlasting Father, for course you have answered. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Thank you, Lord, for listening. Happy New Year in advance. If you have not subscribed to this channel, I want you to do so now. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell. Share this message. Share it with your friends. Share it with your colleagues. Share it with your family members. And make sure you are a blessing to them. And finally, we will welcome your comments if you have been blessed by this message. It is well with you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.